In this video, you're going to learn how to work with the percent proportion as well as the percent equation. And we're going to go through three examples together. And I'm going to show you the difference between how to set it up using either one of these techniques, either the proportion method or the equation method. So let's dive in. The first example says, what is 22% of 48? Now, when we do the percent proportion, what we're doing is we're comparing the part over the whole is equal to the part over the whole. What does that mean? Well, when you think of a percentage, like 100% means like the whole thing. If somebody says, I'm gonna give you 100% of this pizza, that's the whole pizza. But the percent is like the part out of 100. Okay, it's the part out of the whole. And then when you see is, that's the part, and then of means out of, like the whole. So that's what we're doing is we're setting up a proportion. So it says, what is 22%? So that's our percent right here. That's gonna be 22 parts out of 100 okay, equals what is, we don't know. So we don't know what is, we're gonna make that a variable x, but of 48 means it's like out of 48, like that's the whole thing, like that's the total. So now we've got our proportion, we're gonna cross multiply, okay, some teachers call this the butterfly technique, some people call it the cross multiplying technique, some people call it the means extremes property. But what we do is we multiply in the diagonal, so 100 times x is 100x, equals 22 times 48. Now I'm gonna to go to the calculator on this one, and just to save us a little time, that comes out to 1056. Okay, now we only wanna solve for one x, so instead of multiplying by 100, let's divide both sides by 100. And when you divide by 100, remember what that does is it moves the decimal two places to the left. So that's gonna be x is equal to 10.56. So what is 22% of 48? It's 10.56. Now let's do it using the percent equation method. So I like this method because it's like translating. You're saying, what is, okay, we don't know, right? So what is, so x, okay, uh, is means equals. So what we don't know, is means equals 22%. Now remember when you convert from a percent to a decimal, you have to move that decimal two places to the left, so that's gonna be 0.22. Of, when you see the word of, that means times, so times 48. Okay, so now we have uh, what x is, is 0.22 times 48. Let's do that on the calculator, and that comes out to 10.56, the exact same thing we got using the proportion method. So two different techniques, let's try another example, see if you can do this one on your own. 12 is what percent of 40? So let's start with the percent proportion method. So 12 is, okay, that's the numerator, is, <clears throat> okay, of 40, that's like the whole, so out of 40. <clears throat> what percent, we don't know the percentage, so let's just call that P for percent, and this is our 100. Okay, so all we need to do now is solve for P. Let's go ahead and do the cross uh, multiplying. So we have P times 40, which is 40P. Uh, 12 times 100 is 1,200. Uh, divide both sides by 40. And P is equal to 30. Okay, so what that means is that 12 is 30% of 40. Now, if we want to do the equation method, we're going to do it like we're translating, right? So we're going to say 12 is means equals what percent, we don't know, so let's write this as P percent of, remember, means times or multiplication, 40. So we wanna get our variable by itself. What's the opposite of multiplying by 40? Dividing both sides by 40. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the calculator on this one. So when you see that fraction bar, that means divided by, right? So 12 divided by 40, which comes out to 0.3 equals p percent. Now this is a decimal, we wanna convert it to a percentage. How do we do that? We move the decimal one, two places to the right. There's not a number here, so we're gonna put a placeholder, and that's gonna be 30%. Same thing we got over here when we did the proportion method, 30%. Let's try one last example. So for number three, we have 28 is 14% of what number? So let's start with the percent proportion. And if you're getting comfortable with this, try, go ahead and try this one on your own. So here we have 28 is, so that's the numerator here is, 14%, 
that's our percent, that's our part over 100, so 14 over 100, of what number? Now we don't know what the of is, see, of what number? So that's gonna be our variable, or x. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross multiply. Okay, so we have 14 times x is equal to 28 times 100, so that's 2800. We're gonna solve for one x, so instead of multiplying by 14, we're gonna divide both sides by 14. <clears throat> and this comes out to x equals uh, 200. So now we've got our number, and we wanna look at it from the percent equation method. So how do we do that? Well, it's just like translating. We say 28, when you see the word is, that means equals. 14%, remember as a decimal, we move that decimal point two places to the left to go from a percent to a decimal, so 0.14 of, remember that means times, what number, what means we don't know, so that's our variable x. So now if we divide both sides by 0.14, that's the opposite of multiplying by 0.14, do it to both sides to keep it balanced. Let's go to the calculator, remember the fraction bar means division, so 28 divided by 0.14, comes out to 200. So we're getting the exact same answer, just a different method, the percent equation. And a lot of times you can pick whichever method you want. Sometimes your teacher might want you to do it one way or another way. Some people have their own favorite a method, and you got it. So if you're enjoying these videos, I've got now over a thousand videos on my Mars Math Tutoring YouTube channel to help you in all aspects of a math as you go through pre-algebra and algebra and geometry and trigonometry, pre-calculus, uh, and more. So check out more of those videos if you like the way I explain things, and I'll see you in the future videos.